Hey guys, what's up? This is Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time again with a drone special. You might be a beginner or you might be, uh, I don't know what you are. So we don't care what you are, we just care about the drones right now. Um, this short tutorial will tell you my opinions of what DJI to get. I know the rotors aren't attached and it doesn't look that awesome. But let's just get into it really quickly because, I mean, all the technical stuff, you know, all the tech specs, you can read all of them on DJI's website. That is not what I got to repeat now. It's just my personal opinion. So the DJI Phantom 1 is a good drone. It's a proper drone. It does a good job right up in the air. I was flying it as well, but only a couple of times because I was really... It's just the battery is so weak. Yeah, you can only be up in the air for a couple of minutes and if you then attach uh, a, a camera to, to it, I mean, you can just forget about it. But the batteries are actually very cheap. So if you're getting the Phantom 1, you can really buy several batteries and put them in there. But of course, every time while changing, you got to fly back and land and that takes some time. So I would recommend you stepping up to the DJI Phantom 2, but there are two available as well. It's the simple DJI Phantom 2 and the DJI Phantom 2 Vision. So now let's talk about them. So the DJI 2 and the DJI 2 Vision, they have a difference. The DJI 2 Vision has a, an inbuilt camera to it. So if you need a camera, you might go with that one, but don't forget that you can because I've got the DJI Phantom 2 with me, as most of the time, um, you can put a camera to the DJI Phantom 2 as well. So that is actually simple. Um, it depends on what you want. If you really want to go for just getting some aerial shots and you don't really care about issues as the jello effect and stuff like that, you can simply go with the 2 Vision. Um, because it's it's just a camera and it's a nice camera and it does its job it's filming i i don't know is it 720p or 1080p i might put an answer right here right now um so it's nice quality things are all right but if you want to step up to the next level and you say i really want to be able to have more settings to have a camera that films even in more in higher resolution than full hd in 2.7k then you might go again with the DJI Phantom 2. Because uh, the DJI Phantom 2, I mean, you, you, you can attach a GoPro Hero 3 or GoPro Hero 3 Plus to it, yeah? And those cameras are awesome. They're way better than the camera of the 2 Vision. Plus, you can, if you have the money, buy um, a system that stabilizes the camera. It's that system right here. It's a gimbal, that's what it's called. It's a gimbal system and it, I mean, when it's turned on, it keeps the camera steady and it really does a great job on it. I mean, um, it's, it's just way better than the 2 Vision or just a GoPro attached to the old Phantom 1 because the gimbal plus the GoPro Hero 3 or 3 Plus is really an awesome, um, it's just an awesome combination. So uh, I would recommend you getting the, uh, the 2 if you only want to fly or if you want to take mid-professional uh, aerial footage, and if you want to fly and just have some footage, you might get the uh, Vision 2 uh, the Vision 2 Plus. Now I'm getting confused. You might get the DJI Phantom 2 Vision. So uh, I chose because I love filming and I love having stable footage in 2.7K. I chose the DJI Phantom 2 plus the gimbal plus the camera. And if you then, after that, even want to have more professional video. Like saying uh, super stable footage because of course with the gimbal it's not a hundred percent stable then you should get uh, You should watch another tutorial of mine simply click here. It's this tutorial about uh, How to stabilize the footage and if you are not interested in that But want to know more about the phantom click one of the other three um, Videos that are appearing right over there. Thanks for watching. This was Tom TDT, Tom Tech Time. Have a great and awesome day. I know that was a short episode and not the best episode, but it was just my personal opinion on what drone to get.